Do you ever choose a tartan based on your other clothing? Uh, I wear a lot of olive green and would love to find a tartan, especially a universal one, uh, which would incorporate olive green to go with my other clothes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> We're sure. Uh, we are fashion whores, so to speak. Um, there are certain clan tartans that we will wear, then there are universal tartans that we're going to wear. Um, if there is a particular universal tartan that speaks to us that we, you know, we must have that one just because it's gorgeous the way it is, love it, need it, had to have it, um, sure, we would, uh, you know, make sure we're matching our shirts or, you know, other accoutrements with the, with the tartan itself. Um, I have a closet full of, you know, different colors of shirts to go with the 40 plus kilts that I have you know, directly below them, so it's easy to color coordinate. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, absolutely. And Mac does that all the time with, with his collection. <laughs> his hat, his, Mac, Mac will coordinate his shirt and his hat and his tartan. Mac is, he is the dandy. master. Oh. He is the master. So yeah, I mean, it. It uh, people come to it from either direction. One will be, I have my clan tartan, it's the only tartan I care about wearing, so I'm gonna, switch up or make sure that the rest of my wardrobe has colors that coordinate with my family tartan. On the other hand, those who are collectors like us or don't have a strong heritage connection and just want a nice kilt, they will pick a tartan or a couple of tartans on, based on their favorite colors. So it's just two opposite directions to the same goal is basically drawing things together nicely. Yep. Yeah, pretty simple. Agreed. So yeah, go for it. <laughs>